what's up, what's up, incredible people. My name is Emma Mae Jenkins, and I'm so stoked to have you on the Have You Heard podcast, where faith comes by hearing, that is hearing God's word. So without further ado, grab your headphones and let's get into the word. So by the time y'all will be watching this video, our wedding would have been last week. Yeah, it would be. Which is crazy, but we are now about 25 days yeah. until the wedding, and we're so excited, and we wanted to kind of bring you on the loop on some wedding details, some fun mm -hmm. planning that we've been enjoying yeah. for a long time. I can't believe that engagement season is almost over. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's crazy, because honestly, it's like you always hear that it flies by, mm -hmm. and honestly, we had a longer engagement. We, we did. We had a 14-month long engagement. That's a long one. That's a long yeah. one. But uh, we had a long one, and but and it definitely felt. I felt every fourteen month of it. <laughs> but uh, I felt every every one of them. But uh, definitely recently in the past like couple of days, like fifty mark, yeah, fifty, 50 days mark. on. Uh -huh. Man, it, every day is like a minute, and it is crazy. But it yeah. is so fun because we have a bunch of friends also getting married, and it's mm -hmm. fun to celebrate them. And it, it's, it's just a sweet time. And also just getting yeah. to plan this. But now it's like not really planning. It's kind of just like now we just get to do it. Mm -hmm. Now we can just get to live out this exciting season. Mm -hmm. Like we had like bachelorette party yeah. and bridal showers and bridal photo shoot and all of that thing. And we had talked about that for probably a year. And mm -hmm. then we started to actually do it within this past month. And it's like it has kind of felt that way. Like, wow. Mm -hmm this is really happening, like we're about yeah. to be married. Yeah. And I really wanted to take the time to sit with Josh today and share with you all a little bit about like just details that I've personally loved and I've personally gotten to just see the character of God. Mm -hmm. That's something I love is how the Lord really does care about the details. And when you read in Psalm 139 that like the Lord, he sees you and he knows you fully. He's hemmed you in behind and before. Like he knows whenever you sit down and whenever you stand up and you're coming and you're like, that includes engagement season. Yeah. That includes wedding planning. That includes yeah. sitting down and deciding invitation details. That includes sitting down and deciding what kind of flowers you want and what kind of colors you want your bridesmaids to wear. Like, mm -hmm. that's not just like this figurative thing to sound poetic, but that's legit. The yeah. Lord really does walk with you every day, and He cares mm -hmm. about those details. And so, th these are some fun details yeah. I've enjoyed, and some of them have been the flowers. <laughs> We, as y'all probably all see in pictures, mm -hmm. yeah, we have mm -hmm. gone all out in some flowers and definitely go. And if you have not listened to the podcast episode with Diana yeah. Thompson, my florist, where she shares her story and how it is that she got into the flower business, it is insanely inspiring and such a powerful redemptive story that only the Lord could lead her through. So you definitely want to tune into that. Yeah. But it was really cool. Josh and my dad were sitting at one end of the dining room table and me, Josh's mom and my mom were sitting with my florist and her daughter at the other end. And it was so, that's been really fun. Like yeah. Josh has been, he cares about all of the details, mm -hmm. but he like is kind of also like, yeah, you pick whatever flowers you want. I do want. remember that day and I literally left like in the middle of the meeting because uh -huh. I wanted to go and fish. Yeah. And so I went fishing. <laughs> but uh, but that, was, that was still really sweet and I, I loved getting to watch you. That's one thing I've loved mm -hmm. is is this season of planning and I love getting to see you just get so excited about the details. And yeah. though I don't care if we have a tulip over there or a rose <laughs> over there, like that does not bother me as much. Yeah. But... I just love getting to see of mm -hmm. how you excite over that. And it also just reminds me of Jesus and how he excites over the details. But I, I know cool. I haven't told you that before, but I, I love that. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. Man, I'm being encouraged, and we hopped on here to encourage y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a very sweet day. We were sitting down, and I've never experienced, like, a flower meeting like this. But then again, I'm, that was the first flower meeting I've yeah. ever had. But what was so cool is Diana had me sit down, my florist, she had me sit down and write out words that I thought of when I thought of my relationship with Josh. Mm -hmm. And she also had me write down words that I wanted our marriage to represent. Mm -hmm. Like if people look at our marriage, if people look at our wedding, yeah. what are they going to see? What yeah. are we going to represent yeah. to the world? And so I wrote out all of these words and like everything from authentic to fun to genuine to truth to the gospel. Like I just wrote out all mm -hmm. of these words 
And then she pulls out this book. It's like, basically, it looks like a flower dictionary. Mm -hmm. And the first word that we looked up, I remember, was love. Mm -hmm. And we went to the L's of this book, and the very, like, there were tons of different kinds of love. Like, you had mm -hmm. romantic love, and yeah. friendship love, and enduring love. And we ended up picking enduring love. Well, mm -hmm. now that you've picked your word, there's, like, a handful of flowers that represent that one word that you get to pick from. And we did that with every single word I had written down. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's why I'm so yeah. excited about the flowers is because yeah. we have flowers that mean romance. We have flowers that mean fun. We have flowers that mean happiness. We have flowers that mean friendship. So and cool. all of these things are so exciting. One, because we're not just like, I'm not just holding a bouquet and Josh isn't just doesn't just have a boutonniere. Yeah. Like, but we know like what they mean. And then if people can say, man, I loved your flowers, <laughs> well then we can kind of tell them a little bit about our friendship. Yeah. We can tell them a little bit about what we want our marriage to represent. And then it flows into the gospel because we get to talk about like what God designed marriage to be Truly. and what yeah. God designed like the commitment and the covenant between a husband and a wife to be in what we want to stand for and what we want to be about. And I think that's why I love details is because mm -hmm you literally get to make the most of every opportunity to encourage people through yeah. the smallest of things. And so whenever you, I guess as you're watching this video, you've probably already seen the pictures, yeah. but know that those weren't just pictures we picked that like just looked pretty. Yeah. But we had a florist that knew what she was doing and she... One second. You said video. Make sure you count also for oh, podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Go so ahead. I should probably go back. Yeah. Like as you're all watching this or listening As y'all are this, tuning in. Tuning in, yeah. yeah. You, can, you can say, like, you can even say podcast because it's on the podcast channel of the yeah. YouTube channel. But, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Okay, where was I? I don't know. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Um, okay. So, okay, yeah. yeah. You got it? So as y'all are tuning in, you're probably already seeing all the flowers, mm -hmm. but just know that those weren't just picked because they were pretty. Well, they very much were, and I was obsessed. Mm -hmm. But they were also picked with purpose yeah. and picked with meaning. And I pray that it encourages you in that alone, that the Lord, He, he made you with purpose, and yeah. He made you with meaning. And it wasn't it wasn't random. It wasn't accidental. Yeah. Um, you're, you matter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's been really cool, even, like, in all details of the wedding. Mm -hmm. And I think even another thing from flowers and each flower having its meaning, well, even our venue yeah. ha has a has a huge meaning. Because mm -hmm. we're getting, we got married in a, in a vineyard. Yeah. Um, and we got married, in, like, among all these trees and among all these, like, grapevines and everything like that, which is so mm -hmm. cool. Because actually in our engagement, we got to go and plant. Uh, a we vine. did, yeah. yeah. And so we got to go and see that on our wedding day, which is beautiful. It was mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, but yeah, just like if you think about the vineyard and you think about tending the garden, you think of John 15. Yeah. You think of how he is the vine and we are the branches and how God can prune mm -hmm. away things of us, but it's all to make and glorify him. It's yeah. all to, to make us more, uh, oh, I'm going to pause that. It's all to glorify him because mm -hmm. we are, we're made to glorify him. Yeah. And so it's so cool being able to walk through it. And literally we had got to have this, this vineyard man, ten, <laughs> tender person, vineyard uh, man. walk us through it. And literally it was like he was reading scriptures of how he has to take away the dead leaves because it can't, the dead leaves can't help the, the vine grow mm -hmm. and it can't bear this fruit. And you know what? It's like, actually we have to take away all of the branches except one branch because we need all the nutrients of this vine to go to this single branch. Mm -hmm. And it was just so cool that like yeah. we're getting to get married in such a, a, a biblically awesome place, like yeah. a like a vineyard um, among that and seeing scripture tied into it all around us. Yeah, and then like it's just proven all throughout God's word that apart from him, we have no good thing. Mm -hmm. 
apart from him, we're not able to experience abundant life. Yeah. Apart from him, we can't have the marriage that God designed us to have. We yeah. can't have a healthy marriage apart from the designer of marriage yeah. himself. And that's also something so cool. Like in John 15, Jesus says, remain in me mm -hmm. and I in you, yeah. and you will bear much fruit. And yeah. I, I am so thankful. Like I didn't even know that there was a vineyard near where we live until mm -hmm. we started looking for wedding venues and now getting to be there it's like wow mm -hmm. how sweet that we never planned like oh mm -hmm. it hasn't like been my dream since I was a little yeah. girl to get married in a vineyard yeah. but now it's like that's so fitting because yeah. every time I think back to our wedding I'm going to be reminded of wow when we remain in him when Josh mm -hmm. and I fear him when yeah. we seek him first when we remain rooted yeah. in him when we build our house our mm -hmm. lives our home on him and his mm -hmm. word it's going to be a thriving marriage. It's yeah. not going to be easy. There's still going to yeah. be tough times, but it's always going to be worth it because it's going to be within him. That's exactly right. And That's exactly right. Because even wanted, this place, this place is actually the where I proposed to you. Yeah, it's, the it's same all place. in the same place. It's this this old worn down chapel where we posted. Mm -hmm. It's actually where we're having our rehearsal dinner, which is so sweet. Which are everything. Everything is. So we've literally like gone to this uh, this vineyard place mm -hmm. a lot, yeah. um, and it's really it's been really sweet to uh, just to continue continue to see that throughout every proposal, rehearsal dinner, or even wedding. Um, and it's, it's just been awesome, but yeah. go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to share this with y'all because I was like, wow, this is just really fitting to the vineyard and to our heart behind this wedding because it's yeah. so much more than us being celebrated, but we want the Lord to be mm -hmm. celebrated. Yeah, that's exactly right. So it says in Psalm 128, how joyful are those who fear the Lord, all who follow his ways. In other words, who remain in him, who seek him first, who yeah. see him with reverence and surrender to him. Yeah. You will enjoy the fruit of your labor. How joyful and prosperous you will be. Your wife will be like a fruitful grapevine flourishing within your home. And your children will be like vigorous young olive trees as they sit around your table. That is the Lord's blessing for those who fear him. And <laughs> it, that's just insane so how, good. like, I just pray that you're encouraged in this. Yeah. Because even if you're not getting married, even if you're, like, like that is yeah. not even in the picture for the season you're in. Mm -hmm. So you're like, I just clicked on this because it yeah. looked it looked encouraging or it looked yeah. like wow weddings are fun to listen into yeah. I pray that you're simply encouraged in whatever season you're in that blessing comes whenever you mm. surrender to the Lord yeah it yeah. it does you find peace and joy mm. and hope and and life because that's who he is yeah. and you can't find that full, like in a full sufficient way in mm. any place other than the Lord yeah no, that's, that's very true. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah. That's, that, is, that is so beautiful. I love that scripture is tied into everything that we could do at this wedding. Yeah. Um, and I think that was our biggest goal with getting married. Um, well, the goal was to get married. <laughs> uh, but I think another thing was like we have a wedding day, and but it's we want to be able to share the gospel. Mm -hmm. the the story of Jesus coming to earth, dying on a cross, and us being able to believe in him, yeah. that he rose again, and that we can have eternal life. That's what we want to be spoken over. That's what we want to be um, even like highlighted in our wedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. uh, where we're at, what we're doing, what how is this highlighting and all bringing glory to God? Because there's going to be people there that may not know Jesus. Yeah. There's going to be people there that may ha not have heard the story of the gospel. And what a bigger celebration mm -hmm. than, I mean, I'll tell you what, I'd be more happy about somebody accepting Christ in eternity and I would love to celebrate that at my wedding. <laughs> like yeah. that that's That'd what I want to say. The best wedding ever. <laughs> that's exactly right. That's exactly yeah. right. And so it's it's so beautiful. But even then it's like, man, we get to be married under these big oak trees and so with funny. flowers hanging down and all that stuff. And yeah. so we're we're very excited about that. Yeah. And okay, you brought up something earlier yeah. that I really think you should touch on. Okay. And it's from Psalm 128. And it's whenever the Lord is basically saying that you will enjoy the fruit of your labor. Yeah. And when we were talking about, like, recording this, we were yeah. talking about purity. And yeah. I, what you were sharing, I really think you should share. Yeah. Well, um, so purity is, is, is honestly a very uh, interesting topic, mm -hmm. especially in today's society. Yeah. Because purity is either shamed at, like it's like a weird thing and almost made fun of, mm -hmm. or it's... Um, 
Oh, actually, I think it's that's misunderstood. what... It, it, yeah, it's misunderstood. Yeah. Like, some Christians may not believe in it, or some... Just the world doesn't believe in it. Yeah. But I think as Christians, we're not called to live like the world lives. Mm -hmm. um, and so I dedicated myself uh, to a life of purity whenever I was 16. And a lot of people have either DM'd or commented down on why I have a ring on my finger already. Uh, which is a really cool story. I went to Israel whenever I was 16 years old. And I got a inscription on it in Hebrew. Where um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a saying... Um, or a phrase that I'm only telling my wife. Uh, um, I got the purity ring to um, show that like, I'm abstaining um, from the earthly living of having sex before marriage. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to save my purity for Emma. And so on our wedding day, I'm going to be able to share what this saying says. Or the, mm -hmm. I'm only going to share with one person, with my wife. And I'm very excited about that because I think it just gets to honor Emma. Another thing, it's like, hey, you know what? I give you, I give you my life as I'm promising to commit my life to you and mm -hmm. to continue to live with you um, and to continue to honor you in sickness and in health and in death to us part. Like, all of that. Yeah. But here's just another little icing on the cake for you. Like, yeah. <laughs> here's just another thing. Like, hey, I've been, I've, you're the only person that knows me like this. So I'm, I'm leaving my father and mother as it's mm -hmm. commanded in Genesis. Like, I'm leaving them and I'm clinging to my wife now. And I get to share this this very sweet thing that 16-year-old me came up with. And mm -hmm. um, I get to give that to her. So I'm very excited about that. That's another thing that's also planned in our wedding. That's so sweet. And yeah. this was correlated with, like, you enjoy the fruit of your labor because... Choosing to abide in the Lord and being obedient to his word and not going with the ways of the world yeah. and giving your body to, to people because it feels good or because people pressure you or what, mm. for whatever reason. Um, choosing to be obedient to God is always worth it, yeah. but it is work. Yeah. Um, like when yeah. it says you, and you will enjoy the fruit of your labor, mm -hmm. like it, it is not easy to go against the grain of the mm -hmm. world, but it's all, it's work that is worth yeah. it. And I love in first John five, where we're told that being obedient to God, like is a response of our love to God yeah. and his commands are not a burden. And so it's hard work because we live in a world where there are patterns and, and different means by which people go about living their life. And it's yeah. easy to want to be accepted or want to know that we're loved and we seek those things out yeah. by going and finding it in the way that the mm -hmm. world finds it. Yeah. But we are in a, we are feeling void yeah. in it because again, love and, and joy and belonging like that that's only in the Lord. Yeah. And so I do want to just encourage you that like if you are like battling with temptation and like oh, this is like so tough and all my friends are going out and doing it i just mm -hmm. want to encourage you like you will enjoy the fruit of your labor mm -hmm. and the commands of the lord are not a burden and yeah. and if you have like given your given your body in a way that is like not pleasing to the lord outside of marriage i want mm -hmm. to encourage you too that the grace of the lord is sufficient yeah. and um the lord promises that whenever you confess your sins and and turn to his face he mm -hmm. he is faithful and just to forgive you mm -hmm. of all unrighteousness through the power of the blood of his son jesus yeah. and so this is not to shame you but it's very much more so to encourage you yeah. and share the the power and the freedom that comes with truth with yeah. you I want to highlight that again, just mm -hmm. so that so just so that we yeah. fully understand that that it's like, it's not of a looking at us, look how holy we are, thou, at like at all, no, at all, we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Yeah, that's not, y'all have fallen short of the glory of God. It's every single one of us. Yeah. No sin is greater than another. Sin is sin across the board. And so, but it's the best time to do the right thing is right now. Yep. And so it's like, you get that choice right now. You know what? You may have messed up last night. You have may have messed up five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. You may have messed up a year ago. You get to choose right now. I get to, I'm going to, I'm going to go and honor my husband or my wife, or you know, I'm just going to honor my future husband and my future wife that mm -hmm. I don't even know if they're what I like. I don't know yet, yeah. um, where they are, what they're doing or how, whatever. Like I want to honor them with my purity. Mm -hmm. I want to I want to start a, start anew because even in uh, Psalm fifty one it says like God blocks our sins out of His memory after He has forgiven us and so it's like 
man, I want to ask God, please, Lord, forgive me for what yeah. I'm doing and help me live like you live out in the future. Mm -hmm. So hear that because I want to hear grace, like grace of, can abound to you, mm -hmm. but you have to accept Christ into your heart. Yeah. You have to ask him for forgiveness in that. Mm -hmm. But that is just one of the exciting things in our <laughs> wedding. And there's so yeah. many more other things. Yes. Hit them with it, Emma. Yes. <laughs> so just talking about the gospel, talking about mm. the good news, I want to talk to you all about the wedding dress or mm. dresses. Uh, I'm really excited. There's two. Yeah. There's two. And what's so fun is I'm walking down the aisle to... Um, the song How Deep the Father's Love for Us and that's basically a song that lays out God demonstrated his perfect love for us yeah. it makes me cry that he would send his one and only son to come and die for us while we were still sinners mm -hmm. and he yeah. paid the debt that we deserve to pay because of our sin and he died yeah. he died the death and he rose again the third day and if we believe in him we have that freedom we have that victorious life yeah. and we get to rest in his authority over death and be with the Lord forever and ever yeah. in relationship with him and I think that that's just so fun that I'm getting to walk as a bride mm -hmm. in a white dress to my husband mm -hmm. as how deep the father's love for us is playing and yeah. I I'm just I I'm so excited I know that I this is like a part of talking about my dress. I'm not really talking about the actual dress at all, but more of so what it represents, mm -hmm. that I am walking in a dress that is pure white, mm -hmm. and that shows how the Lord sees us whenever we have been covered by the blood of His Son and yeah. we have surrendered to Him. And we, get to, we get to boldly approach His throne of grace, yeah. and He sees us and He keeps us and He loves us knowing that we are pure and without blemish, not because of anything we've done. Mm -hmm. And I think that just kind of blows my mind. Yeah. It blows my mind. And I think that's something I've been thinking about throughout this course of engagement. Mm -hmm. Is like how whenever I think about getting to see Josh mm. on our wedding day yeah. in my white dress, yeah. I'm filled with insane joy. Like yeah. just excitement over the moon. And then I think about whenever we get to see the Lord face to face and we are clothed in robes mm -hmm. of righteousness. We are adorned because we are his bride, the church, his yeah. children. We are members of his household. We are his bride and he is our groom. And like how even greater that excitement <laughs> is when we get to have our first look yeah. with the Lord face to face. And I just think it's so cool. You can't, mm -hmm. I mean, whenever you know God, and you can't talk about a wedding and not mm -hmm. talk about Him. Truly. And I, I think yeah. I love that because it's like I, you get to have the bride's view mm -hmm. and I get to have the groom's view. And it's like that, I think, honestly brought me a little bit closer to God mm -hmm. and just kind of understanding that passion. And it's like that longing to get married and a long engagement season. It's, a lo it's like, man, I am so pumped for this, but I know that we have so many things to do beforehand. And I'm so excited about all those things beforehand, but man, I am thrilled mm -hmm. to get married to you, for you to walk down that aisle and like us being joined together for the rest of our life. Yeah. And how beautiful that, and you get that, you get that bride's viewpoint mm -hmm. of like, I'm, I'm anticipating, like I have all this stuff. I'm so excited to see the groom. I'm so excited to walk down the aisle to them and have that person that I'm going to be with for the rest of my life. It's really yeah. cool to see that marriage of happening between mm -hmm. it's that earthly uh, picture yeah. and the scriptural meaning behind mm -hmm. it all and how we just get to, it really is interwoven. And how yeah. I love how our God does that and Me how too. it's literally just, he, can't, he does not leave it undone. He mm -hmm. always has a way of speaking to us mm -hmm. and speaking like about him yeah. in such a creative and beautiful way. Yeah, he really does. He really does. I just can't believe when y'all are tuning into this, we will already be married. Well, we'll be on our honeymoon. I'm so excited. <laughs> y'all, I love you. I love y'all. I love y'all too. <laughs> and we're so thankful for you. Yeah. And we are so glad that we got to share a couple of things that really meant a lot to us yeah. throughout the specific planning for the wedding day itself. And we hope that you're encouraged. We'll have our wedding video out. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so, so please stay, yeah. stay tuned for that. And a ton of photos are going to be dumped on Instagram and mm -hmm. everything, so don't forget to check in to there as well. Yes. Um, but yeah, yeah, we love y'all, and we're so, so excited for this new season, and we love getting to share it with y'all. Mm -hmm. um, y'all are awesome. Yes. Have the best week ever. <laughs>